Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Today we are going to continue the uh, remaining slides. Different uh, project management approaches. You have different approaches like uh, TPM, that is traditional project management. Traditional project management. What is this traditional project management? So it is the uh, universal practice. So this is the universal practice. This is the universal practice. Yeah, it's a universal practice which includes techniques for planning, techniques for planning. Then you have estimating, then controlling activities, controlling activities, controlling activities. So these are very, very important. Like uh, they, are, they are done in a very sequential manner, but very rarely they, are, they change that sequence. Then we have adaptive, APF, adaptive project of, uh, framework. So this is known as even APM, that is Adaptive Project Management. And uh, this uh, it accommodates unknown facts, very, very important, unknown facts, which suddenly pops up in the project. And how to manage them, how to manage them, they form a team, team to control these facts, yes. And how to respond them to make the project to go in a very smooth manner. Then we have extreme project management. That is, that is also a very important tool in the project management. It is the method of managing, managing complex problems. So manage of, it's a method of uh, managing very complex problems and in many uncertain projects. And here it has, a, it is it's actually it is very uh, flexible. It manages through emotions, thoughts, and interactions through um, emotions, emotions, thoughts to to produce the desired outcomes. To produce the desired outcomes. Yes, very 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 important. Then we can see the examples are given here. Yeah, see, TPM is actually to install a internet. Uh, network in the field office, so in an ordinary example. Then APF means put a man on the moon by the end of the decade and return him safely. So this is like um, planning, giving unknown facts, but it should be done in a very effective manner. And finally, it is flexible. As I said, you this extreme project manager is a really flexible one. Finding a cue for the cold. Uh, so this is how done, done uh, in a matrix form, CTPM, APF, and XCM. See, it's clear, not clear. Then it's clear and clear. This is matrix. These both are clear. And this is clear and this is not clear. Then when you see this is uh, clear, and here this is not clear like this. So it's a matrix it forms. Then comparison of uh, this, the various project management approaches, we have these three uh, important things, uh, three factors to be considered. See, first one is, it has one cycle. First it talks about, traditional project management talks about one cycle. Whereas adaptive one talks about fixed, see, one cycle, fixed, here yeah, it's unknown, cycles of unknown. Okay. Then it talks about budget, see, it has a fixed budget on time, it also has a fixed budget on, but here it varies, variable budget. And here it has a time, time zone is fixed, see, it has a time, time is fixed. This is variable scope, okay. Then you have unknown scope, okay. Then WBS, what is this WBS? WBS, it is actually... Uh, work breakdown structure. WBS means work breakdown structure. Work breakdown structure. Yeah, work breakdown structure. It is a key project. It's a, actually it's like it organizes a team to work into uh, any manageable sections. So it organizes a team into the sections to manage particular problem. Yeah. Then it talks about middle level and JIT. What is this JIT? JIT is just in time. It's a Japanese concept. Just in time concept. Yeah. It's a just in time concept. Actually it's a method to reduce to reduce times, to reduce the times in production system. Yes. Then it also has, uh, I mean, uh, control on suppliers. Supply, they have control on suppliers. Then customers, mainly, uh, and goods and goods. Also, it has mainly talks about uh, like scheduling. It talks about scheduling to arrive exactly when needed. 
for production process like these are to be scheduled properly scheduled when needed for production when needed for production very very important so here time is a very important factor in this just just in time concept okay then we have this here in this there is no wbs then it is a complete plan yeah so this is a jit plan and this is also a jit plan here this intolerant where you can changes in the in intolerant we can tolerate because you have invested such huge amount of budget and some changes in the end it is really it is intolerant here changes embrace so if there is any change it can be altered so it's flexible yeah if there is any change here yeah, should be change should be done so it is necessity then we talk about uh, various uh, project management professions see here 1996 fortune article called as fortune article and as project management the number one career choice number one career choice then other authors like tom peters then thomas steward stress the projects are uh, what add value to the organization is very very important they said that they add value to the organization then professional societies like the project management institute have grown tremendously so teachers it says that also the project management society with the help of this uh, various uh, uh, you can see the um, growth it has developed an institute which can see the professionals act in a very efficient and in a different manner 